fine now see the cable is plain ethernet cable let's have a look at your his his also uses plain ethernet cable which is your cat 5e cable okay these blue and red okay but there was uh, we'll come to that before that one significant change that has occurred is they have used a hub no sorry it's not a hub you don't call this a hub this is called a layer 2 switch a hub would be something which has like around 300 uh, 200 to 300 switches this is a very small unit it's called a layer 2 switch fine uh, and one difference from the communication uh, network that is followed in your FFCS large and the rest of the FCS is that this is a star topology network whereas the rest of them they follow bus topology or the DCD topology okay uh, fine so let's see how this connection comes up these two are bus 1 these two these two are bus 2 again meant for redundancy purposes now connection comes up from the RJ45 down to your hub okay now no matter how many FCS you have all of them can boil down to your hub and from your hub the connections proceed forth to your HIS okay now there is one mistake in the connection that's been done over here they have used a single hub my bad it's single layer 2 switch okay now the problem over here is if this layer 2 switches layer 2 switch fails then all the FCS that's connected to this layer 2 switch they won't work properly so then our redundancy factor is gone so since we have bus 1 and bus 2 we are supposed to have two layer 2 switches okay one will take care of only bus 1 for all FCS and one will take care of bus 2 for all FCS so there would be two layer 2 switches one um, cat 5e cable would be picked up from your layer 2 switch for bus 1 and connected to your HIS another cat 5e cable would be picked up from your layer 2 switch for your bus 2 and would be connected to your HIS again then another significant difference is see I said you need a vehicle interface card for your desktop to recognize the values that come up through the um, uh, through the CAT cables or the VNet cables or the VLNet cables from the FCS now when it comes to FFCS we have changed everything to the CAT cable which follows TCP IP protocol right so the vehicle interface card has also changed over here the vehicle interface card now is your VI701 card before it used to be VF701 now it's VI701 okay fine um, yeah so the orange units that you see they are not NIUs they are basically PLCs so we won't be covering them right now um, yeah, let's have a look at the analog and digital IO units. See, the one over here, it is AAT145, this is an analog unit. Then ADV151, this is a digital unit. Okay. Mm, rest all things are similar. Um, you use an EC401, here you use an SP401. If it's a remote node, you go for SB501 and your NIU retains an SB i mean eb401 card okay uh, riu has an eb501 okay. now let me see if i've missed something mm. okay one thing about following tcp ip no, before that, one more thing. See, this entire connection, it's called VNet over IP. See, this VLNet and VNet, they are proprietary to Yokogawa. Okay? But CAT cable, they are proprietary, proprietary to Yokogawa. 
fine so what they have done is they have modified uh, the cable in such a sense they have not modified the cable but they have modified the logic or the protocol that is followed okay what happens is your ed bus one okay these two your bus one they cannot be used for making any sort of connections to your external devices like your printer scanner anything um, graphic plotter all those things that cannot be connected this bus one is solely for passing your control information bus two on the contrary can be connected to any external device okay fine and you can see this is a UTP cable that is unshielded twisted pair okay this gives uh, um, you know greater resistance to attenuation of signal okay fine and um, when you follow a TCP IP protocol let's say I have one more FCU unit that is I need to connect two FCUs I wouldn't have a connection that starts from this bus one and ends at another bus of your FCU all connections from your FCU should terminate into your layer 2 switch okay that is a protocol now this is your intra domain connection before that what's a domain domain is nothing but a list of FC use that is connected over one bus okay now let's say there are two domains okay now two domains having FFCS large in that case you use a layer 3 switch for inter connectivity fine I think I've covered the history of the different FCS and their significant differences that would be all from my end